Okay, um, now we're going to look at Indochina formation. Um, uh, I, I alluded to it a little bit earlier. Um, basically, um, Indochina, it's a very proximal um, tectites. They were raining down molten or semi-molten. Um, the, the primary shapes form, so let's just recap on the primary shapes. Okay, I'll use Philippine uh, tectites because I've got them available here. A lot of my Indochina are so unfortunately buried underneath about, um, well, probably about 80 kilos of Philippine tectites, so I, I can't move them right now. Um, okay, the primary forms are spherical bodies, dumbbells, and teardrops. So, when these rained down in Indochina, they were variously molten or solidified. Some of them, when they ran down, they were actually uh, pretty solid. This was this is a very long, um, long, unusual Indochina, but this probably rained down pretty solid. Looking at it, it's not really very distorted at all. Um, of course, how solid it, it is depends on how close you are to the impact. The closer to the impact, the less time it would have had to cool, so the more chance it is it's molten. Also, the smaller a body, the quicker it will solidify. And also on a body like this, where it's got a long, thin tail, this thin tail will solidify before this slightly thicker area here. Um, sometimes you see the tail solidified, and then it's caught, sort of half went into the molten body because the bulk of it was still molten. Uh, and that, that's quite interesting. So some Indochinites retain their true splash form uh, character. So these uh, shapes which are not distorted, these would have been a little bit further from the impact on average, but obviously size dependent, like I said earlier. And these, um, so this is another example, this is actually Chinese, pretty undistorted. Tectites from Indochina, they tend to have a bald spot just an area which is smooth and unetched. A lot of the sculpture on these Indochinites is actually uh, due to chemical etching. It's not random chemical etching. It, it attacks um, uh, things like micro cracks within the surface. And these are generally occurring within the original surface. So where you've got a piece of glass chipped off, flaked off, spooled off, then it's generally a smooth area, it, it doesn't appear etched. So these came in like that. The um, bald area represents the anterior, the side that is facing, getting all the heat as it's re-entered, the side facing the earth. So those bald spots tell you the anterior on a um, Indochinite. Um, Next we move, if we're moving close to the impact, I'm assuming for an equal sized body, then you start to get more and more distorted tectites. These ones from Delat, these clearly entered the atmosphere molten. And as they entered the atmosphere molten, the shape, which was originally a normal teardrop shape, was distorted. It entered like this. It was distorted there. And all of these are very heavily distorted and, and bent through their atmospheric passage. Um, these are quite, ni quite nice specimens. Um, we know that it was the distortion took place during atmospheric re-entry because on some of them again we see bald spots. So <coughs> bald spots only occur on the uh, front of the specimen. So we know that although it started distorting as it was re-entering the atmosphere, by the latter stages it had cooled sufficiently to become brittle, at least on the exterior, and that caused um, the glass to spool there. So um, the, these are teardrops that have been distorted. This is a dumbbell, it's broken in half, but this was originally a, well, a very poorly shaped dumbbell, but you can see it's been squashed. It's not the normal dumbbell shape. It's been squashed. Again, exactly the same uh, same method. And this, this is a very large donut. This is a small donut. Um, that's 134. This is 497 grams. 
this was originally a sphere, a spherical body like that. Um, as it re-entered, probably a bit like a smoke ring, a ring vortex, the material simply flowed round, flowed round like that, and, and it just created a donut shape. But that's simply through atmospheric re-entry whilst it was still molten. You only get these donut forms in Indochina, nowhere else, only ever close to the impact. You also see these forms in um, places like Georgia, which is quite close to the Chesapeake impact crater, that source crater. So, and also from uh, the Moldavite stream field, relatively close to the Rise crater, you do get this kind of shape. Not as perfect as this, but the, these are young and from a good size impact here. I mean, these are, it's the fact that it's young and they're in abundance, you find some good shapes here. Um, Okay, so some of these actually landed with a um, brittle exterior, but the interior was still molten. And occasionally, and these aren't the best examples, there are far better examples out there, but you occasionally you get these cracks. And you quite often see angular distortion, not very well shown in these specimens. Um, but it is there still in these, but it's subtle. Get angular distortion, and it's like crack within one millimeter, two millimeter brittle exterior, exposing a runny honey type molten interior, which is then cooled rapidly. The uh, the surface is then etched, but the only the um, surface that was exposed during atmospheric entry is is etched because it's following predefined lines of weaknesses, cracks, and in that freshly exposed bit that was obviously exposed very late on, there isn't any way for it to be uh, chemically attacked. So um, yeah, here's a Chinese one. This was, uh, again, as I was saying earlier, this was flattened. This was a teardrop, but it's been flattened. Um, some people struggle to um, I identify the posterior from the uh, anterior. The posterior is always the smooth side, contrary to some belief. Posterior is always smooth. Anterior is the surface, which is dimpled. Um, this one, you can see the bald spots running around the edge. We know that's the anterior. You can see the tail bent upwards. So this is bent towards the posterior. The anterior is always, you commonly get a, um, a etched area in the middle because it is so very often um, uh, having a uh, donut effect so only this outside is effect, affected this stays as the original probably with a pocket of area a pocket of air in there uh, in fact I've got some excellent onions elsewhere but as I, say, I think maybe they're buried 